Check your state laws and facility policy to make sure you are permitted to perform this procedure. Before assisting with giving a complete or partial bed bath, check the care plan or the nurse's instructions. Note any restrictions or special considerations. Before you begin, practice hand hygiene. Identify the patient and make sure that privacy has been provided. Follow all additional instructions in the preparation section of this program. Hi sir, my name is Ken and I'm going to be your nursing assistant today. Um, could you please verify your name and date of birth for me? David Casey, 7-6-1951. Alright, thank you sir. I'm going to be giving you a bed bath today. I'm just going to go ahead and gather my supplies and I'll be right back with you, okay? okay. Alright, thank you. To give a person a complete or partial bed bath, the items you will need should be arranged on a barrier on the overbed table. For a complete bed bath, practice hand hygiene and put on gloves. After covering the person with a bath blanket, remove his sleepwear without exposing him. Follow agency policy for dirty sleepwear. All right, Mr. Casey, we're going to go ahead and remove your old sheets from under you. Remove the top linens as you would when making an occupied bed. Do not expose the person. All right, Mr. Casey, we're going to go ahead and lower the head of your bed, okay? We're going to make sure it's flat all the way. Now lower the head of the bed so that it's as flat as possible. Make sure the person has at least one pillow. Next, fill the wash basin two-thirds full with water. Using a bath thermometer, measure the water temperature. Or test it by dipping your elbow or inner wrist into the basin. Follow the care plan for the water temperature. Ask the person to check the water temperature. If it's too hot or cold, adjust it. Then place the basin on the overbed table. If the bed rail is up, lower it. Place a hand towel over the person's chest. With the washcloth, make a mitt, which you'll use for the entire bath. Now wash around the person's eyes, using water only. Begin with a far eye, gently wiping from the inner to the outer part with a corner of the mitt. Then clean the eye near you, using a clean part of the washcloth for each stroke. Then pat dry with a towel on his chest. After asking the person if he wants you to use soap to wash his face, wash his face, ears, and neck. Rinse and pat these areas dry with a towel on his chest. Performing this procedure from one side of the bed or from both sides of the bed are both acceptable methods. Good body mechanics must be used. The method you will use depends on several factors. The resident's or patient's abilities. The size of the resident or patient or the size of the nursing assistant performing the procedure. The placement of equipment or furniture in the room. In this video, the nursing assistant works from one side of the bed. For any person, to perform a complete bed bath from one side of the bed, help the person move to the side of the bed near you. After you have washed his face, regardless of what side of the bed you are working from, begin with the person's far arm. Expose his far arm and place a bath towel lengthwise under it. Apply soap to the washcloth. Support the person's arm with his elbow on your palm and his forearm on your forearm. Wash the arm, shoulder, and underarm using long, firm strokes. After washing these areas, rinse and pat them dry. Wash the person's hand after washing the arm, shoulder, and underarm. To wash the person's hand, place the basin near his hand on the towel that you placed under his arm and put the person's hand in the water. Wash his hand well, cleaning under his fingernails with an orange wood stick or a nail file.
as you do have him exercise his hand and fingers. When the person's hand is clean, remove the basin. Then dry his hand well and cover his arm with the bath blanket. To clean the person's arm near you, repeat these steps. Now place a bath towel over the person's chest crosswise. While holding the towel in place, pull the bath blanket from under the towel down to the waist. Soap the washcloth again. Without exposing the person, lift the towel slightly and wash the chest. Then rinse and pat dry. For a female, carefully dry the area under the breasts. Move the towel lengthwise over the person's chest and abdomen. Pull the bath blanket down to the person's pubic area. Put more soap on the washcloth. Lifting the towel slightly, wash the abdomen. How's that feel, sir? That's fine. Okay. Are you doing okay? Then rinse and pat it dry. Next, pull the bath blanket up to the person's shoulders, covering both of his arms. Remove the towel. If the water is soapy or cool, change it, again measuring the temperature as shown earlier. Before leaving the bedside, raise the bed rail near you, if used. Be sure to lower it when you return. Now uncover the person's far leg without exposing his genital area. Place a towel lengthwise under his foot and leg. Apply soap to the washcloth. Bend the person's knee and support his leg with your arm. Wash the leg with long, firm strokes. Then rinse and pat it dry. Continue by placing the basin on the towel near the person's foot. Lift his leg slightly. Slide the basin under his foot and place his foot in it. How does that feel? Nice. Okay, I'm going to wash your foot here. If needed, use an orange wood stick or nail file to clean under his toenails. Get in between the toes here. When the person's foot is clean, remove the basin and dry his leg and foot. If directed, apply lotion to his foot, but not between the toes. Then cover his leg with the bath blanket and remove the towel. To clean the person's leg near you, repeat these steps. If needed, change the water again. Be sure to check the water temperature as shown earlier. Then, with the bath blanket in place, turn the person onto his side away from you. Without exposing the person, uncover his back and buttocks. Place a towel lengthwise on the bed along his back. After putting soap on the washcloth, Wash the person's back, working from the back of his neck to the lower end of his buttocks. Use long, firm, continuous strokes. Then rinse and dry the area well.
turn the person onto his back and change the water as shown earlier. Make sure that it's the correct temperature for perineal care. All right, just want to make sure that you're comfortable, okay? Practice hand hygiene and change your gloves. If the person cannot perform perineal care, provide it, as shown in the video skill, giving female perineal care or giving male perineal care. After providing perineal care, remove and discard your gloves and practice hand hygiene. Then give the person a back massage, as shown in the video skill, giving a back massage. All right, sir, I've got some deodorant here for you, okay? I'll, I'll put it on. Let me just raise your bed up a little bit. Okay. To continue, apply deodorant or antiperspirant. If requested, also apply lotion and powder. Finally, put clean garments on the person, comb and brush his hair, and make the bed. These procedures appear in the video skills, assisting with undressing and dressing, brushing and combing the person's hair, and making an occupied bed. For a partial bed bath, begin as you would for a complete bed bath. For example, cover the person with a bath blanket. After you've filled the basin, check the water temperature with the bath thermometer. Allow the person to check the water temperature. Put the basin on the overbed table. Place the person in the fowler's position or help her sit at the bedside. Do you feel comfortable? Yes, thank you. All right. I'm going to put a bath blanket around you. All right. That's going to keep you warm. And then we're going to get you undressed. Okay. Next, help her undress. Provide for privacy and warmth using the bath blanket. Adjust the overbed table so that she can reach the basin and supplies. Ask the person to wash the easy-to-reach parts. Explain that you'll wash her back and areas she can't reach. Then place the call light within her reach and ask her to signal when she needs help or when bathing is complete. Remove and discard your gloves. Practice hand hygiene and leave the room. I will. Thank you. Come on in. When the call light comes on, return to the room. Knock before entering. Practice hand hygiene. I'm going to go ahead and get started on your back then. Very good. Okay. Okay, Alice, I've got our warm water here. And After changing the bath water as shown earlier, raise the bed to a level that provides for good body mechanics. If bed rails are used, make sure the far rail is up. Ask the person what was washed. Then put on gloves and wash and dry the areas that she could not reach. During a partial bed bath, you or the person should wash the face, hands, underarms, back, buttocks, and perineal area. When you're done, remove and discard your gloves and practice hand hygiene. As you would for a complete bed bath, complete the bathing routine. To do this, give a back massage, apply lotion, powder, and deodorant or antiperspirant, as requested. Help the person put on clean garments, and assist with hair care and other grooming. After giving a complete or partial bed bath, perform post-procedure care. For example, empty, clean, rinse, and dry the wash basin. For detailed information, see the section in this program on follow-up care, reporting, and recording.